unlike so many business books out there, you talk a lot about emotions and feelings in the workplace. Why is this important? And talk a little bit about false dichotomy, if you will, between logic and emotions that you describe yeah. in the book. Yeah. In our brain, our emotions are intertwined in every step of our cognitive processing. Mm -hmm. Rationality is a myth, okay? We are heavily emotional thinkers. We are suboptimal thinkers. From a cognitive perspective, and I'm gonna get to the emotional. From a cognitive perspective, basically, we are fast, reflexive, sort of autopilot thinkers. Mm -hmm what Kahneman and others, Kahneman didn't create the term, others did, have called system one thinking, so, all right? Uh, we are basically confirmation machines. Mm -hmm. We process information which confirms what we already believe. Mm -hmm. We tend not to process information which disagrees with what we believe. The brain has a backup, I call that cognitive blindness. The brain has a backup system in case we do. And that means we put that information which is disconfirming, we rationalize it, we call it cognitive dissonance and put it in a pre-existing file. Mm -hmm. Well, it even gets worse than that because we have all these cognitive biases. So, <laughs> cognitively, okay, we're, Daniel Kahneman says, lazy thinkers. That's our natural inclination. In order to really think intentionally and deliberately, we have to really focus, pay attention, and take it up a notch to system two. Emotionally, so cognitively, our natural inclination is to confirm. Emotionally, our natural inclination is to be defensive thinkers. Chris Argus, the late great Harvard professor, his term. That means my emotions are in charge of protecting my self-image or my ego. Mm. Oh, I can't look stupid and be wrong. Right. Okay? Yeah. I can't say something and you, and you may dislike me. I want everybody to like me and everybody to think good of me. Okay? Mm -hmm. To some extent, emotionally, we're like a little puppy dog that goes around and puts our head up and we want our, we want our head patted. Yeah. Okay? We emotionally react to challenges with what I call the three Ds. Defend, deny, deflect. Mm -hmm. So that's the natural part. So how do we overcome that? Well, understanding that and learning how not to be emotionally defensive, okay, and how to, uh, Bridgewater calls it, get above your emotions, how to recognize in our thinking. Say we're having a conversation and it's a critical thinking conversation and you're saying, Ed, you know, I just don't understand that based on my facts, you can't be right, okay? Well, I gotta be cognizant of, ooh, okay, is my blood pressure going up? Am I starting to feel, you know, am yeah. I starting to feel warm? Am I my pulse? I mean, am I feeling, you know, in, in men, your, the earlobes start to turn red, okay? So mm -hmm. am I feeling heat there? Okay, this is a signal to me that next is fight or flight. Okay, back it's to our coming. evolution. Yeah. It's coming, <laughs> fight or flight. Who? get above this, okay? Uh. Take a deep breath, get above this. Wait a minute, this is not about you. I am not my ideas. Mm. Pixar says, um, we all have our stories of everything in our life. They're called mental models. Mm. Pixar has a great saying, you are not your mental model, okay? I say, I am not my ideas. I decouple my beliefs about me from my ideas or my mental models of the world and instead I get my ego strokes. I define myself whether I'm open-minded, non-defensive, and I use good thinking processes. Ah, so you shift the reward. Yes. Okay. I shift the reward to do I use best thinking, collaborating, relating, mm -hmm. listening processes. And so, okay, so I should be saying to myself subconsciously, deep breath, Whew. don't get defensive, this is not about you. This is about, this is not being right. This mm -hmm. is about being, not about me being right, it's about being accurate, mm -hmm. okay? Because I will be better off 
if I'm living my life with a more realistic mental model yeah. than, quote, my hypothetical mental <laughs> model, right? And yeah. so it's, it's all about, okay, I'm open to learning because I want to be more effective. I want to be more successful. I want to grow more. I want to be more happy, um, et cetera, et cetera.